Alright guys, so we're back again today for another weekly grind video. Um, I did want to state before we start the video, I will only be doing one video a week up until probably Friday. So you're only going to get one video today, one video tomorrow, uh, and possibly only one video on Friday. It depends on how things turn out. I'm working on something on my end, so um, I'm not going to have a lot of time to actually get videos set up. But I will do my best to make sure I get you at least all the news information out instead of just gameplay and summons. So uh, that's what we're here for today. First off, shout out to the Reddit, shout out to dbc.space as you see on my screen. We're going to be going over all the current events that are out on Dokkan Battle, both the global and the JP side, and the summoning events and their end dates. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, one thing I actually did forget, I did want to also state, since I won't be able to do another news release today, we do have two new inf two, uh, more information from both on the Reddit. Uh, so first off, on the global side, we are getting Chapter Four, Part Two. It's going to be coming soon. I think the date was going to be January, so it's a little bit far. It's a little bit far away. We have until January. I believe it's like the middle, uh, beginning, beginning of January, where this is going to get released. So we'll have a new story event with more stuff that we can actually go and get for like Baba gems and new dragon stones and new story events and stuff like that. Uh, that also means when triple to quadruple, if we ever get quadruple rank experience comes along, we are going to get a lot more rank experience because the harder the levels are, the more experience you get. Uh, on the JP side, I'm super excited. This is the Bardock stuff. I can't wait. I hope, I hope this is for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. If it is, you guys know I'm going to go ham on that because Bardock's one of my favorite characters. So, uh, especially from that non-canon movie that he had. Um, I love it. I want the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock because I just think it's going to be awesome Super Saiyan 3 lead. I'm super hyped. I can't. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go over to the JP side of, I mean, the global side of Dokkan Battle. Let's start talking about all the events that are going to be here uh, or that are here when they're end. The, in the Inimitable Fusion is here. Um, this is going to be the Gogeta event where you get your Gogeta medals, you get the Veku card. Um, if you don't have him, you, you could do this for the Fusions team. This is good for free-to-play events that are like prime battles that you may want to use him for. Nothing specifically because he is physical, but he's good for a Fusions team if you're lacking characters, I guess. Uh, really, if you're lacking characters. <laughs> uh, this is the event that you token awaken your Strength Gogeta and your Intelligence Gogeta. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit harder, but the medals are the same, so... Technically, if you have really garbage uh, teams and you can't beat stage three, you can technically just do stage two 77 times to Doken Waken your intelligence if that's what you have to do. Uh, I'm not recommending it, but for new players, sometimes that's all you got. Uh, but that's this event that's going to be ending on the 10th, uh, 12th, 10. Uh, it will come back down um, weekly, two, three times a week, actually. You have it on Intelligence Day now, Strength Day, and you have it on Heroes Day. So you'll be able to get it three times a week just to go in on it. Um, the same thing we're going to be talking about for the Janemba banner. Um, if my page ever wants to load, <laughs> Janemba will be here. Let's make sure the next one loads for me. Uh, the Janemba banner is the same exact thing. You don't get any drops other than um, some of these King Yemas and the Ghost Ushers. Those are really good support items, by the way. So you can use Stage 1 to get those to grab them. I would recommend doing it if you're new um, or if you don't have a lot of them. Uh, that is stage 2 Demon of War is the old school event. Uh, he drops the same Janemba medals as the new one. This new one obviously drops 7, the first one drops 1. The second, the third one is where he um, dodges all the time. Use the Super Saiyan to nullify J Super Janemba's uh, reduction, the damage reduction, so that way you can actually deal a lot of damage to him. Uh, I know it's difficult, the Fusion Steam's really good to do this event with, but the Fusion Steam also has majority of technique characters, so it kind of stinks. Um, but this is a good event. If you got the Janemba, make sure you grind it out. Again, this is going to be back uh, on Intelligence and Strength Days, just like Gogeta, uh, and Villains Days. So that, that's when you can do it. Also, I forgot to mention on this event, you can go and... It's just Fierce Battle. I believe it's just Fierce Battle that you use to reduce to do damage reduction. Fierce... I don't know. Huh. Interesting. I thought it was Fierce. I thought... Oh, no. I'm sorry. That was Super Vegito. Uh, so I don't think there's anything you could actually use against it, but I'm not going to go too deep into that. We're going to jump into the next one. The Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner is here, um, or banner, event is here. That's going to run until 1210. This is what you're going to use just to Dokkan Wake in your Super Gogeta. Nothing real special here, so um, just go ahead and take that on when you want to. You could Dokkan Wake in this physical Goku if you haven't done so already. You need those medals for it. Uh, I forgot to mention, I believe this ends on 1210 as well for the Janemba banner. For the dailies, anyway. And 1210 for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And this is also for the Omega Shenron. This is going to be available until 1210 as well. Um, this is for both the Strength Omega and the new Physical Omega. And Stage 1 on the event, you get the drop of Ice Shenron. So, 
Go ahead and take it on. GT is what you use up against the event to get those medals to nullify his damage reduction and greatly increase uh, damage dealt on him. So make sure you bring a GT team. So it's pretty cool. There we go. Uh, and that one ends again, 12-10. Next one we're going to talk about is the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga finale. The GT Baby Saga is on, and Goku, well, we're going to go talk about the GT Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. So all three of these guys are back. All of these guys essentially drop um, special rewards. So this one is the Baby Saga finale. You don't really get too much good stuff here. You're going to get the Trunks and the, Go the Gohan. Those two are really good for free-to-play teams, by the way. They're really good support units. Um, you also get... I wouldn't recommend grinding out the medals from Stage 2. We're going to do it from the other Dragon Ball GT event. Uh, the Chi-Chi's are really good support items, so you can go ahead and grind them out if you want to. I wouldn't make that your priority, though, between these three events. If you are if you have nothing else to do and these three events are around. Um, definitely get these guys to Super Attack 10. Do not grind out Stage 5 for these Hercule badges. I'll show you the other event that you can do that on. Uh, stage 6, you can, all, you can grind if you want to for the Baby Vegeta medals in order to Doken Awaken. Uh, I believe it's the Great Ape Baby, uh, but uh, you can go ahead and do this. Look at these guys. These guys are freaking awesome. Uh, I believe it's the Gohan. Yeah, the Gohan that I use for the actual super, the prime battles for LR Freeze and LR Goku. I use him on the team because he gives my LR Goku three key and a little bit of a defense buff so that way no one gets hit. Trunks is cool too. He does that for intelligence, but he's only really viable if you don't have good support units on an intelligence team. But he is a good support unit for intelligence if you're lacking key. He's also an extreme unit, so you can run him on a kid boot team, and that team needs key. So he's really good free to play for that kid boot team. Keep that in mind. So if you do have kid boot and you're looking for support units, until you get something better, he will be a really good support unit for you. Um, and yeah, so that's that. So um, that, this is this event. The, the most primary things to note is going to be the Baby Vegeta medals and the Goten and the, or the Gohan and the Trunks. Uh, Chi Chi uh, items are cool, but that's literally if you have nothing to do. And if you have nothing to do, then you, you're probably going to already know that you need to grind that. That you should grind that out for some help in future events. The other GT event, the Baby Saga, is on event. Um, you have the Goten that's here. You have the Vegeta that's here. This is the Vegeta that's going to Doken Awaken into Baby Vegeta, which will then further Doken Awaken with Stage Six medals um, here to the like Super Baby Vegeta. <laughs> um, so that's where you're going to go ahead and get those. Uh, this has a whole bunch of cool stuff. This is where you're going to actually want to grind out the Hercule badges that I was saying before. Um, stage 10 is the best one you can grind on. You get SR Hercule statues, and I think you have to grind it out like 140 times in order to buy everything in like the Baba Shop. There's a, I think it came out to 142 the last time I did the math. Uh, that was a while ago, a few months back, but I'm pretty sure when they restock it, it, it gets restocked with everything. Um, so the Hercule badges are here. 350 you get per run. Sometimes you get 700. Um, the actual statues, you sell them, you get 50,000 zenny, uh, was it 50,000 or is it 500,000? You get 500,000 zenny per drop and you sell two of them, that's a million zenny, so you get a lot of zenny doing this. I believe last time when you do 140, 70 million zenny you're going to get if you grind that out the full amount to get by everything in the Baba Shop. Now, you don't need to do that, recommend only doing it enough to get the items that you want because we do have other events that are here, but it's really cool and good to note. Um, base for Vegeta, you have the Trunks, the Goten, and Gohan medals that are here. Uh, so if you're looking to do Doken Awake at some of your cards, then definitely go in there and grab those medals. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the other Black Star Dragon Ball Saga event. This is a, it's a little bit the same, a little bit different. First off, you do get this base form Goku from this event, and you get this meta real though. They're cool for free-to-play teams. Actually, the Goku really is, and it's just cool for collective purposes. And he does feed into other base form GT Gokus. Uh, he actually Doken Awakens into Super Saiyan Goku GT. You can feed him into the other Super Saiyan Goku GTs, so the pullable SSRs. I don't recommend doing that just because those cards kind of suck. But, you know, you could do that if you want. Uh, this event has the actual metal apples, the metal apples you could use in the Baba Shop. It's just like the Hercule Badges. You go into the Baba Shop, and you can purchase purchase specific items with it. Um, you do have some of the trunks and the pan metals that are available over here uh, from the Black Star Dragon event. Um, those are going to be used at Doken Awaken. You also have, I forgot what the heck these four minions are. They, they go out into... Uh, some they create some uh, mechanical menace you have to go up against. This is where you also get the metal Roldo and this other guy. I always forget the scientist's name, Mew. Mew, I think it is. Um, so you, stage seven is uh, Enigmatic Planet M2. This is where you get the most uh, apples for the Baba Shop. You get 400 of them. Sometimes I believe you drop 800 of them. Uh, but yeah, that's about what you're going to get. So you can go over there and grind that out for the Baba Shop. Uh, again, you can go and run into this and just get all the events, all, you know, the, the couple characters that are here, which is really cool. This runs until 12.07, this one, the other GT runs until 12.11, and this GT event runs until 12.11. So, it's kind of odd, yeah, there we go, okay, so 12.11, the two GT Baby Saga events run until uh, uh, December 11th, 
and the Black Star Dragon Ball ones runs until 1207. Um, and then we also have this other grindable event, you know Dokkan Battle, it's a grind fest. Uh, Goku and his friends are back, this is the one with the Raditz, uh, Radishes, <laughs> I said Raditz. Um, stage 1 is for the Radishes, uh, grind those out for the Baba Shop stuff. Uh, Tarble is cool because he's an orb changer. I would recommend grinding him from stage two. Get him to stay to level super attack 10. He's very easy to grind. The metals are very easy to grind, especially if you have fusions characters. Stage four, notable because of the base form Gotenks. I know I talked about this in few, in, uh, earlier videos. Get him up to super attack 10. I did feed two pants into him because why not? Um, you never know if he gets a Doken Awakening. He might be very good in the future for a free to play team. Another thing to uh, notate about him, he feeds into the two other base form Gotenks units. So you can feed him into the agility and the strength one. I recommend you getting them up to Super Attack 10 before you Doken Awaken them. Um, and if you don't have them, Doke, if you already have them Doken Awakened, I would recommend grinding like 20 of them out or start grinding it if you know you're going to be grinding them that day specifically or that weekend, whatever it may be. Reverse Doken that, that one of those Go Tanks, the one that you want to run. I would probably say the, uh, agil the, the agility one, maybe. Um, he is kind of like a nuker. Uh, the strength one's really cool, too. He does, like, I believe he does HP attack. In the, oh, I'm sorry, he increases attack 100%. Uh, I, th I think it's an, H uh, an HP stat buff type thing. Like, if HP is over a certain amount or if he's first attacker in turn, he ends up doing 100% attack buff, which is insane. So, grind them out for that. Uh, this event's really cool. Outside of that, um, get, I, what, I, what I would recommend, honestly... Um, Go and get all of the large radish, radishes that are here and go into the Baba Shop and buy everything with the large ones. That will that should give you enough small ones to give you the items that you need. Definitely recommend getting the Elder Kai's and stuff like that and the Elder Kai medals, Supreme Kai medals, and then going for some of the Awakening medals that you're lacking. Uh, that event, again, runs until 12.03, so this should be, if you're just grinding the events, Goku and his friends are back because that's going to end the soonest. And then the, the Black Star Dragon Ball event, start grinding that out to get some cool Baba Shop items. And then the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga event. Now the reason because, unless you guys really, really want your, like, Gogeta and Janemba to be Doken Awakened, those events will come back. Have a little bit of patience, they're going to come back. The GT events do not come around often. You utilize them for the support that you can get while they're here. Um, we also are going to talk about the summons now. We're going to move into the summons over here. <laughs> if it wants to load for me, it's a pain in the butt. We're going to go ahead and close out of some of these... Uh, tabs over here maybe it'll help out the memory of my machine so that way it doesn't crash out on me like it's been doing um all right cool we're gonna go ahead and close out of this as well and that so dual doken festival is now on so this is going to be the dual doken festival for uh, janemba and gogeta as you are all aware you have a while for this to be here it, it ends on december 12th so you have another week and a half before this ends it ends on a sunday we don't know what's coming next i would put my money on the super saiyan 3 go tanks i kind of hope it is i want him but, you know, we'll see what happens, what kind of deals they have, and what's going on. Um, I already did a full banner review, so if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. There's a lot of really good units. Uh, personally, I think the Janemba banner is more worth it. I did do a lot of summons on the Gogeta banner, and it just gave me horrible, horrible pulls. Uh, I know a lot of you are in the same position as me, but it runs until 12.10, so if you're kind of trying to conserve stones, maybe try and pull on Janemba, see what you can, if you get some luck. If not, you know, save it out. The Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks has a lot of viability in future banners, or future categories, because he fits into like four or five categories that are coming up in the future. I think I believe it's four. So, just make sure you notate that. he's a He is viable for a lot of different category leaders. Um, next is going to be the Agility Character Exclusive Summons. Now, I have not done a review of this. I'm going to try to get one out to you tomorrow. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to do one today. But uh, this runs until 12.11. So, you have a full like a week and a half for this to run. I believe it ends on a Monday in two week, or a week and a half. So, this is not a bad banner. You get two Elder Kai's per summon. Majin Vegeta is in this banner. You do have Pan and Rildo, which are really good for the mono teams. Uh, one thing I did want to note about those, mono teams, if you don't plan on running mono teams in the future, if you're all about the category system, these guys may not be worth it for you. Um, so, keep that in mind. Uh, one thing I did also note is when I went into the game, I did see that they said certain rarity characters will have an increased rate of being pulled during certain times, and no one knows what those times are, but Majin Vegeta, stay tuned, to, like, make sure you watch out on the, um, you know, social media for posts about people starting to pull Majin Vegeta and try your luck. I'm pretty sure it goes up for everyone, but I don't know, I, I, I would assume it does. Uh, but this is a cool banner, you have a lot of good units actually on this banner, you have the, two, the Super Saiyan God Goku, the Super Saiyan God Vegeta, the Great Ape Turtles is kind of whack, but you do have Super Se or Android 17, which is really good for a Super 17 team. 
So you do have a lot of good featured units over here, plus Majin Vegeta is available. So if you want to try and pull on that, go for it. Again, it runs until 12.11. Um, we have the Go Gogeta and Janemba guaranteed exclusive character summon tickets. If you made it to step 8, that's going to run until the 24th of December. Um, it's just a guaranteed featured unit SSR from the banner. So good luck if you haven't pulled on that already. A lot of us, you know, have done that. So and you know, let me know what you guys pull down in the comments below if you want to from that GSSR ticket. Um, the thank you ticket summons also run until 12.24. Those are the tickets so that you get between steps 9 through 12. So those will be available for you to pull on until the 24th. Uh, utilize them while you have them. They're not you're not gonna be able to use them again um, The this one you can actually pull a whole bunch of different characters including the SSR the LR so make sure you utilize them as well uh, Hopefully you guys have some better luck than I did uh, Next one is going to be the world tournament exclusive summons. This is the guaranteed SSR it ends tonight guys This one ends tonight. So if you're looking to get your world tournament summons on go ahead and use them I'm still saving mine because there's still one more SSR in the World Tournament that we haven't gotten yet, and that is, I believe it was the Intelligence Trunks that everyone was telling me about. Uh, it was from the JP side. I know I did coverage on it when it came out originally. So uh, I'm just waiting for all of them to be there, so that way our World Tournament's caught up with JP's World Tournament, so that way I'm just going to do a whole bunch of summons and hopefully get the ones that I don't have. That ends to again today, so make sure you pull on that while you can. So, wow. All right, guys, we are going over to the JP side now. We're on the JP side of Dokkan Battle, and we're going to start talking about those events. This one is the low class warrior event the raditz event that runs until 1207 there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here running a low class warrior team will allow you to get better drops uh, i haven't taken part in this i actually haven't even grinded out the stones in this yet uh just because the global side has had me so occupied and i've been playing baruto x naruto x baruto and bleach brace holes and the other naruto game and jp dokun just logging in and stuff like there's a lot of games i'm playing right now um if you made it this far, you know, hashtag um, anime gaming because I opened up a second channel called Anime Gaming. There's been no videos in it yet, but I plan on doing a full uh, second channel dedicated to all the other anime mobile games that I play. So uh, it's not going to be as in-depth or elaborate as Dokkan Battle because this is my primary, but I'm going to start putting up gameplay and news releases for Bleach Brave Souls, for Naruto X Baruto, and the other Naruto Blazing game. Um, and I'll th probably throw some Dokkan content up on there every once in a while. But go ahead, check it out. It has zero subscribers right now. It's called Anime Gaming. Um, and if you want to go ahead, check it out, subscribe before I start putting up content, feel free to go ahead and do so. Anyway, um, this event, you get the Raditz card. He's not really that good of a card, but he's cool because of his leader ability, and his leader ability is what makes the low-class warrior uh, category system kick off all these additional drops. You get the Raditz card here. You get Dokkan Awakening Medals on Stage 4. Um, and you get some cool training items for agility characters on Stage 3. And the Scouter's really, really good. So make sure you grind out some of those scouters. Um, outside of that, um, this event's just really more for fun. I wouldn't recommend going too ham on it. Uh, yeah, go for it. You get a lot of the uh, actual training grounds, so I would recommend grinding out stage two on Z Hard for those training grounds because those training grounds are really, really viable. Uh, this again runs until 12:07, so you have some time to grind that out if you want to. Uh, next event is the Super Saiyan 3 Angel, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku Extreme Z Battle that runs until 12:04, so you only have about a week left less than a week, it ends on a Monday, for you to grind that out if you want to go ahead and get your Super Saiyan 3 Goku or uh, Z Extreme Z Awakened. I recommend doing it. I only did it a couple times. I got him a couple levels. I think I got one or two levels up. So he, he essentially is at a level 125 right now. Um, he got a little bit stronger. His stats to get a little bit buffed. I'm not using him right now. If I get the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, maybe in the future I'll end up doing more. But um, the event's kind of hard for me on JP just because I don't have extreme units. You know, I don't have really good units like I do on the global side. But again, this runs until 12.04. So go ahead and grind that out if you want to on the JP side. The next event is actually just the Beyond All the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event, the actual OG event where you get the medals to Dokkan Awaken your Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That runs until 12.04, so go ahead and grab them. It's a very easy event if you have any new meta cards. You can probably one-shot them with most of the new meta cards. Uh, this event also Dokkan Awakens the Strength Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so go ahead and grab it. And also Dokkan Awakens the Super Saiyan Goku and the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. Or is it Super Saiyan Angel Goku? Either way. Um, go ahead and grind that out while it's here. And then we also, actually, where is the, there was another uh, Super Saiyan, oh, that's the uh, banner. So, all right, cool. Um, <laughs> Bio Broly event is here, it runs until 12.04. I know I've discussed this in a lot of videos because it's always available. Um, you can go ahead and grind out the Bio Broly card here and the Krillin card if you want to. Bio Broly is actually cool for the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku uh, event because he is an extreme technique revival unit, which is all three things that you want to go up against that Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku. Recommend maybe using him if you're going to go up against that event. He, he'll tank a lot of damage. Like that. He'll tank the damage for you, and you don't get any items, so that's, you know, that's something to take into consideration. 
This Garbage 18, I did a full review on her. She's a garbage card. If you like Android 18, I'm sorry. They just they, they destroyed the card. The card is horrible. She doesn't fit onto any team. She doesn't have any good link skills. Um, and she Doken Awakens and will never be used. She's just there for collective purposes, I guess, because she was in the movie. Uh, but she's there. Um, this event actually has some relevance because it has uh, the Goten and the Trunks medals. The Goten and Trunks are very good units. Trunks is a st almost a staple unit on his team. Mono, physical, super team. He's pretty much a staple until like LR Trunks comes out. Very, very good unit. Um, uh, again, that's that for that. Uh, um, you can get some of the Hercule statues from stage one. Don't really recommend grinding those because you can get anywhere from a bronze to a gold and you're probably going to get like a, a silver most of the time. Uh, stage 2 is where you drop the Trunks and Goten medals. Stage 3 is where you drop the Android 18 medals. Stage 4 is the Krillin. Stage 5 is the Bio Broly card and the Bio Broly Dokkan medals if you need to, when you need to Dokkan him. You get a lot more medals than you do Bio Broly, so just keep that in mind. But then, this event ends on 12.04. Grind that out while you have the chance to if you want to, or at least get the Dragon Stone. It's worth it. Uh, this is moving on to the summons on JP now. This is the Dragon Ball Heroes event. Um, this is the one I actually did do a video recording on this. I just haven't had time to upload it because of all those global stuff that's going on. Um, I did summon on this banner. This is an awesome banner. We have the real thickness right here. She is going to be available. And my two boys, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. Just awesome, awesome banner. It runs until 1207. And you get all the other, you can you can get all the other uh, GT or well, GT hero event cards that are here specifically notable if you get this guy he's really really good he's really good on a mono hero uh technique team for super saiyan 3 gotenks and super saiyan 3 angel goku very good unit he doku awakens with this so he gets fierce battle and so i believe he gets fierce battle um so he's a very viable unit go ahead summon on this banner it's actually really good and you get a guaranteed ssr per summon so if you don't have any of these cards like it's not just these four cards that i'm talking about it's any card that's dragon ball hero so you can get some cards that aren't that great but go ahead and try your luck if you've been saving stones because GSSR is a really great way to go about for the free-to-play player base. Uh, that ends on 12.07, so you have some time for that. You have the Elder Kai banner. Now, if you have any stones whatsoever, if you have 50 stones, get these right now. Um, unless you don't have Elder Kai's, get them. These are, the, this is, these are the type of banners that you need to use to get your to increase character super attacks. I have so many characters on the JP side that just need super attacks increased. I just I, I just don't know who to use it on. So I'm going to wait for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner to come out and pull on it. And hopefully I can get the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock card. Um, hopefully if, if he comes as a base form Bardock and you have the Dokken Awaken him to Super Saiyan 3, that's going to kind of stink. Uh, but if that's the case, then we'll see what happens. Uh, Elder Kai might get used on him. But this is available until 12.04, so you don't have a lot of time left. You only have you have less than a week. If you haven't summoned on it, guys, log in and summon on it, because this is a really good banner. You, you know, you guys all know you need this this these banners, the Elder Kai banners in your life. <laughs> um, all right, cool. The next one is going to be the Extreme Dokkan Festival being held. It's a Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku with Super Saiyan 3 Broly and Super Saiyan... Or Super Saiyan... Uh, perfect, super perfect cell. Um, so these three are really good units. So the, the, this is all for the Extreme Z Awakening for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku card. So the Super Saiyan 3 Goku card is the featured unit, and then the two cards that are really viable units like, to go up against the Extreme Z Awakening event are the Cell and the Broly. So for those of you who are wondering why they're on the banner, it's because you those are two really good units that you want to have on your team when taking on this event. They will tank damage and they will hit like a truck. So that runs until 12.04. I wouldn't recommend pulling on it myself, but you can if you want to, if you're looking for any of these three units, if you want any of them. Um, I know that Cell becomes pretty viable on a revival team if you have dupe system in because of his passive of attack and defense plus 12%. He actually starts doing a lot of damage and he tanks a lot of damage, so uh, that's just something to take into consideration. Uh, when he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, if he gets it, if he turns into immense damage and, like, say, his passive turns into 15% or even wildly 18%, he's going to be a very, very hard-hitting viable unit. Uh, but we will have to wait to see what happens with that. Again, runs until 12.04. If you want to summon on it, go for it. I don't recommend it, though. Uh, the next one is going to be the Resurrected Warrior Gathering. If you don't have any of them, it might be worth it for you to do it. If you have uh, the Intelligence Frieza, uh, Intelligence Golden Frieza Angel card. Runs until 12.04. That has some all right units, I guess. I'm not going to tell you to summon on it because I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. But you can. You can summon on it if you want to. Um, it will give you some revival units that will be able to be run on that Angel, the Golden Angel Frieza team. Runs until 12.04 again, so you only have a couple days left. Again, not a primary banner I would recommend summoning on. Last but not least, guys, we have the Kefla banner. Runs until 11.30, so it ends tomorrow. Tomorrow. Actually, tonight, technically, because it says it runs until uh, 11.30, 12 a.m. PST. So that means it's going to end tonight. So you have about 
13 hours from the time of me recording this video. So probably by the time it gets uploaded, I would say maybe you have about 11 to 12 hours before this actually goes away. If you want the Kefla, if you want the Khalifla or the Kel, this is where you're going to get it. I do do it. You know what I'm saying? Just if you want those units. I, I kind of think that Bandai is going to do this thing where they take all of these units and they throw them onto one banner for an extreme Doken Awakening, like with Kefla and uh, the Ultra Instinct Goku, and they're probably going to release one more. So that way, when it comes around on Global, they'll just do it all in one shot to help, you know, get us caught up, I would say. It's just an assumption. I don't know. Just a guess. That runs until 11.30. Uh, all right, guys, that is all the news. So I just threw it all up over here on the screen for you. Let me go ahead and change the uh, actual size of this so that way you can actually read it. If you want to pause the video so that way you can actually read it, um, I'm also going to post it in the description below, so if you want to have it there, I'm also going to post it up on the TMV for you. But alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Make sure to like this video if you like the content that you saw here. Again, remember to hashtag anime gaming if you, were, if you made it this far into the video uh, to let me know that you know about my new channel and if you plan on going and subscribing and joining me for that. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.